guys, welcome back to my channel, The Expanse, Season 5, Episode 2. Let's go over what happened last episode. Um, basically, main storylines, Amos went back to Baltimore, or is going back to Baltimore to um, grieve the death of one of his close friends, or so he says. Alex was trying to rekindle or apologize, make up for his absence in his wife and his son's life. Bobby is also going through some shit. Um, I forgot to talk about her in my post-episode thoughts for last episode, but she is basically uh, continuing like the same thing uh, as what happened last time, except she's not like in the crime. She's investigating similar but with black market crimes. So I think that's gonna be a separate storyline on its own. Obviously she's still in contact with Christian, which I love that friendship. I hope that they are able to reunite and get together this season again, as they did Last season, yeah, I think that was last season. So, Naomi's going to investigate, or not investigate, she's going to save Philip, or at least try to save him and plead with him to stay away from his father because his father is very dangerous and his uh, radical ideologies are not going to turn out well for him. Clearly these people in the Inaros, or Inaros, I'm, I'm not sure where the um, emphasis is on that word, I was saying Inaros, but I think it's Inaros. Inaros? At least how they're saying it now. I feel like I, there's this Mandela effect thing that happens where I hear a name pronounced on the show and then they just randomly start pronouncing it a different way and then I feel like I'm going crazy. They did the same thing with Jules Pierre Mao. I'm still gonna call him Jules Pierre Mao because all of a sudden in like season two, or not even, was it season two or season three? I think it was season three. They started pronouncing it like Jules Pierre Mao. And I always thought the S was silent. It was like a French thing. I don't know. So when they started doing that, that fucked me up. And then, um, I guess that's really the only instance where that happened. But yeah, I feel like I, I've pronounced things in a certain way and then they just changed the pronunciation on me. Unless I'm just not pronouncing it right to begin with. But yeah, uh, as far as pre-episode thoughts, what I think is gonna go down, they they kind of briefly tease more protomolecule stuff going down and figuring out the builders. LV was the only one that really kind of got a glimpse of the weaponry or the thing that was used to wipe out the builders, the, the builders of the protomolecule. So, and now Holden's making the argument that you know, we're waking them up by using their portals. We are not uh, using a tool that they provided for us in this way as a helpful tool or resource. We are pissing them off, so it's not going to be good. Maybe this is the same thing that the protomolecule builders did, and that's what ended up getting them wiped out. It's like you become too smart for your own good. So maybe that's maybe that's the theme of the the entire expanse, you know? Appreciate what you have, because as soon as you start dipping your hand into uh, cookie jars that are not meant for you, um, shit goes south, and you might end up getting wiped out off the face of the, I would say, planet, but in this case, it's universe. The entire system will be wiped out. Every trace of life, as they know it, will be wiped out. So, I wouldn't want to fuck with that. So, Fred Johnson clearly... Um, is doing some research of his own. Now, I don't remember, and I know it's fucked up, because I, I don't remember, there was an exchange that went down between Naomi and Fred, right? Didn't she exchange, was it her exchanging the protomolecule sample to him? I'm pretty sure it was, for information. Holden said Dawes was in on that too. So, Dawes has some knowledge, right, about it? Doesn't Dawes have the the coat yar? Not coat yar. Dawes has the scientist guy, the crazy scientist guy from like season one, I think it was. So between Fred having the sample and Dawes having the knowledge behind uh, the proto molecule and the builders and what it what it was building. I mean, he was directly talking to the proto molecule back in season one. I think it was season one. No, it was season two. But um, between those two people working together, it's 
going to be chaotic. I don't know how they're going to use it, if they're going to use it for good or, or bad, you know, OPA purposes or I don't know. Because what they're standing for right now is like a belter nation. You know, Medina Station is supposed to represent that. So they want to uphold the good of belters and not have them be perceived as Marco and Naros. I don't think that they really agree with that. So, yeah. Hopefully that plot hole is not plot hole. That loose end is tied up at some point over the course of this season. I trust the Expanse and their writers. I know that they won't let anything like that be ignored. So, yeah. I'm going to shut up and without further ado, let's get into episode 2. Oh shit. My girl. Don't worry about what I want, worry about what I am due. And no prisoner killed without permission from the controlling faction. Eros dead, who are you to tell us who we can kill? I am Kamina Drama. Mm -hmm. You respect my claim, mm -hmm. or you die and become a story I tell the next captain. Maybe done, or maybe we finish you. Why'd I get chills when she said that? What would be the fun in that? I love her. Honestly, she might be my favorite character. I think she is my favorite character. Next to Christian. Christian is very different. I have favorite characters for different aspects of their personalities. Drummer is just like an all-around fave. She can do no wrong in my eyes. This was a good day! Right, it was. We woke up in debt. We gone and fall asleep with money to keep flying. Love now make the next pirate surrender. Via does. It's here after today. You were very scary. No one watching. You can enjoy the win a little. Won't make you less frightening. <laughs> Tamina, you have a bounty on this ship? Uh-uh. What is that? It's a tiny place Ashford's ship. Oh, shit. I never thought I'd actually find it. Yo, she's gonna avenge his death. I'm calling it right now. She's gonna be the one. I feel like she's everybody's favorite character. Am I wrong saying that? I feel like every like nobody can hate Drummer. If you hate Drummer, like what show are you watching? I'm sorry. I want her backstory, Drummer. I want like a spin-off series of her and how she grew up and her backstory and just how she became who she is because she is a warrior. Damn. There's people around 24-7. How do you get away with anything? And drones? Surveillance drones? Something I can do for you. Maybe. <laughs> Timothy. Timothy? Lydia was always waiting for you to turn up. Timothy? Is that his name or was he introducing... Is he introducing himself? Or is Amos's name Timothy? I moved in here ten years ago. But I knew her a little bit before that. I'm Charles. Yo, so Amos's name is Timothy? Were you good to her, Charles? We were good to each other, boy. You know, he kind of looks like a Timothy now that I'm looking at him. She spent every waking moment Hoping to see you again. You show up now and that's all you want to know? Is oh, yikes. Tell me. It was an aneurysm. You need to beat me up to make yourself feel better about abandoning her here. Just do it. I want to know why he didn't visit I her before. some of what her life was before. She just did what she had to do to survive. Well, you can't judge someone by what they do to make men. Sometimes you can. You were in that world too, right? But she knew that they would use you up till there was nothing left. That's so fucked. Float to the top or sink to the bottom. As a kid, Everything he had in the to middle's a turn. <laughs> she told me that. She let me stay, but now that she's gone, the guy who owns it, he wants it back. Oh, God. What was his name? Eric. Stop acting. This is gonna become some John Wick type of shit. He's gonna go off on this mission to find this Eric guy, find out what his influence and in his, uh, his mom's life is. What crews are doing was. I haven't been completely honest with you. I'm shocked. Sure. There is another piece to this. Someone is going after the protomolecule. Meet me and I will tell you about it. Just you. 
Interesting. I appreciate your candor. Well, it's not being candid. But there's really nothing I can do. I mean, is it like... Do it. But it proves that someone is going after the pearl molecule. Yeah. Damn. He can't deny that. He's just like Miller. He literally is reminding me of Miller right now, which is kind of crazy. Just his storyline right now in pursuing the proto molecule and how relentless he is about it. How he's oh like, you know, I kind of have to do this. That's exactly how Miller was with Julie. Oh God, did she get killed for what she said? Why would you leave your phone? Like if somebody was coming to get her for whatever information she was Fred, telling? We have a problem. Yeah, Fred, I don't know, I don't... I have a lot of thoughts. I don't trust Fred. You know him? Yeah. You and I are patriots, but Captain Sobater, he's got more dust in his vein than blood. No, there's no way a guy like that sells weapons to someone that can use them against Mars. Mm. He signed the transfer orders. Everyone in that office was by his say-so. You tried talking to him? I'll walk up and say, excuse me, sir, are you illegally selling weapons to the belt? He's a senior lecturer at the War College. We don't travel in the same circles. He does, though. Alex could do it. Talk to me. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get Alex in on that shit. He could do some dirty work for you. I've issued a temporary lock on all the docks. I'm gonna keep digging on this end and find out who scrubbed that video. She had proof and then minutes later she's grabbed. That can't be a coincidence. My people will find her. Your people are a part of this. Yeah, you Fred Johnson. She's still on this station. Somewhere. Is she dead? She's kidnapped. Because she told Holden a piece of information that, uh... He shouldn't have known. It's kind of too late. He already knows. He already knows that somebody is investigating the hey. proto molecule. I'm afraid we're out of time for this lecture and this term. Plan and prepare for every possibility, and you will never act. Great things are achieved by embracing great dangers. These were the words of Xerxes, Persia's king of kings, though he probably spoke them in old Persian. Every new invention or discovery alters the strategic and tactical landscape. Yeah, I don't know, Thank man. He's very, um... He's very passionate about what he's talking about, clearly, but that makes me a little bit suspicious of him. Like, he that could have something there. to do with what Bobby was hey, talking about. I see if you remember me. Back on Mars, what's the occasion? Uh, it's just some personal business at the base, and I heard you were giving a lecture. It'd be an honor to buy you a coffee. I can give you my first hand account. New pilot has stolen Martian ship for an birth or captain. Uh oh. I don't think we have much to say to each other. What? Don't mind him. It's been a long term. He's very tired. It's not you. It's an honor to meet you, Senior Chief. Lieutenant Babbage. Emily. If you have an opening in your coffee schedule, maybe I could take you up on it? I mean, if that's not presuming. Oh. Um. <laughs> no. No, it's not. Duty calls. I don't know, man. I'm sussed out by her and the other guy. Maybe not her. She she seemed cool. We'll find out why he's here. Yeah. Already on it. Yep. Yeah. You see, I knew it. I was about to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm glad I didn't. Mother. Ashanti. <gasps> Christian's mm. daughter. I wanted to say goodbye before we left. Stay a little. I can't. Father misses you. He's back at Columbia now, getting ready for the semester. If you went to him, you could patch things up. Fuck that guy. She's not the that one that needs to. Is still important. It's like a part of her. That's a part of her, her personality, who Christian is. She can't just give it up. But then again, I was talking about how Christian might need to find herself without power. ships have reported. I would like to discuss the Hesami, the science ship that was attacked. I have information from reliable, confidential sources that Beltares are buying Martian military supplies on the market. If the buyer is Marco Inaros, and one of his ships destroyed the Hesami, it suggests... Admiral Delgado, you're familiar with those reports? Was it in Inaros' ship? 50-50. Higher than that. Christian, you're on Luna to do a job. Come and on. This, if you'd prefer not to be involved in these discussions, you're more than welcome to submit your thoughts in writing. Ew. Good. 
She did not have to be that mean about it, though. She did not have to dismiss her in front of all those guys like that. Fuck her. What'd you do? There's a button I pushed in. Jesus Christ. That's really how you go through life, isn't it? Look, there's a signal coming in. There was a button. I pushed it. That should be Holden's uh, catchphrase. Des describes his personality. She's gonna get out of there. No! No! no. Is that, can she like bounce off that? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's gotta take strength. Oh my god. They're gonna try to find her in all of that. Holy crap. There's no way. She's in there. Got it set. I hope it's actually hers and he's not misleading him. I don't know why I am always suspicious of Fred Johnson, but I think it's because I know that he had the protomolecule sample. That is so cool. It's not gonna be her. I'm telling you. It's carrying live soil. Oh. Why it had atmosphere. This isn't the right container. Oh yeah, she's gonna die. I feel like Fred did that on purpose. Like he knows exactly what container she's in and he's mis purposely misleading him. Oh, it's so cool. They have ones that go upside down. How does that work though? If gravity is a thing. This is very um cyberpunk esque. What the fuck are you doing, Timmy? Timmy. Lydia Day. That's not an answer. You killed Burton for me instead of killing me for him. You wow. got his name and away off the planet. She's got a guy. He loved her, and as long as he's here, a part of her is too. The husband? He keeps the house. You should have just said so. You scared the fuck out of me coming to my place like this. That was not my intention. Yeah, the old guy can stay. I don't give a shit. All this is really about the house. It's about Charles. Fine. Good. <laughs> so who was this guy to Amos, though? I call him Amos, but his name is really Timmy, I guess. You've changed. So he killed a guy and assumed his identity. Now I want to know who the real Amos was. What the hell happened to you out there? Burton's fake ID won't hold up if you get arrested down here. It'll lead back to me. Next time you go up the well, don't come back. I love you, and I miss you, I do. It's good seeing you again, Eric. Damn. So brothers, they were brothers or like the actual brothers or, you know, sometimes people just say like, miss you brother, love you brother. I say that. She's dead. Why though? I don't understand. Is it just because she was pursuing her new documentary about the protomolecule shit? Oh wow. Holy shit. Ah. I can't even imagine that. Imagine what dying and then just coming back to life. What you did today was hard. When life has not treated you with kindness, doing the right thing anyway always takes strength. I love you, Timothy. I knew that was Amos. But I'm not righteous. Maybe you and I can you imagine a version of me that is good? I'll pretend to be her. You can pretend to love me enough to listen. He's so young. Maybe that's enough for people like us. Like, he really had to grow up from a very young age. Good casting, though. Damn, that looks like him. What are you doing on my taco, man? No. <laughs> you mean no? I mean no. Chrissy, I'm gonna need a favor. 
I'm getting ready to go back to the ship, and I'm not coming back to Earth ever. But there's someone that I should see first. Who else? He's really tying up some affairs on Earth. He, he really plans to never come back until he dies, I guess. Who else is there to visit? I don't remember him talking about anybody. Is that the end of the episode? Fuck. I get so invested. And then it just ends. So. That was a roller coaster, y'all. Um, right, the next episode is called Mother. Could very well be another Amos centered episode. Not too sure, but you know, this episode was really about him and his past, and uh, we got some answers and some more questions. So it was it it was about his mother, um, and what they both had to do to make ends meet or just you know what they had to experience very early on very young in, into their lives especially Amos it seemed like the mom they were implying that the mom did that she was a sex worker um, prostitute whatever you want to call whatever the politically correct term is she was doing that to make ends meet you know so um, like everybody on earth she was probably struggling and that's what she did so Amos was born into this life of, of that happening. So I don't know who the last person that he would be going to would be. He met up with Eric. He tied up loose ends there. I don't know. I don't remember him really talking about anything other than, or even in the recap that happened, I don't remember them talking about anything other than the fact that Amos Burton was a crime boss, an organized crime boss, and that was it. So I think that Amos killed him, killed that guy, and then took his identity. Well, he obviously took somebody's identity for whatever reason to get off the planet and to escape that fate. But if this Amos Burton character, this guy, was a organized crime boss, how would he be able to, how would Amos be able to leave with his name with that kind of criminal past? You know? Unless Amos took his identity and then became the crime boss and then left. I, I don't know what the timeline is here. That doesn't really seem likely. It seems likely that it was a crime boss and he took his identity. He killed him. So he's obviously not visiting him because he killed him. So lots of uh, interesting things that could happen. I feel like this season is going to be very focused on like the character backgrounds, especially Amos's, especially Naomi's. Um, I don't know, it was kind of focused on Drummer a little bit too. So I was very, I was very curious to see if they would maybe do like a Drummer-centric episode. That would be pretty cool, because this episode was definitely Amos-centric, and I think that's going to end up getting tied up. I don't know how that's going to wrap into the main storyline. Maybe Amos is going to be like a Bobby of this season and have his own separate storyline that doesn't really join together with the other one until the very end of the season. I don't know. So... Drummer, I, I have good, high hopes, I should say, for her. But with everything with the proto molecule, it seems like it's been slowing down with the, that whole storyline, except for the fact that Fred is working on this proto molecule sample, maybe with Dawes. That's been speculated, but we don't know if that's true. We haven't seen Dawes in a while. So if they're going to pull him out and, and bring him back onto the show, like now is the season to do it especially since they're bringing up his name more and more recently. So Fred and Dawes, that makes sense. That makes sense that they would be working on it together. Fred has the sample, or had the sample, pretty sure. Dawes had the brains of the operation, and that was it. That was the dealio. So who knows what they're going to do with it? Naomi it seems to be the only person that would have any inkling that's going on, but she's preoccupied with the whole Marco... Inaro's storyline and I don't know if that's gonna end well for her because he seems like he's gathering a, a very big political force over there a very big group of people who just are very like-minded to him and he's stealthy stealthy Christian obviously is on to him and and knows that there's foul play involved with these you know like the science ship, ship that blew up um, she knew that that happened and that was probably Marco so 
the fact that Nancy is too proud to listen to Christian, I get it, I understand. Christian was an asshole to her too, so it would make sense to be an asshole right back. But when you're when you're in a position of political power, like being an asshole, not really gonna get you anywhere. At the end of the day, they need to work together to make shit happen on Earth. So it just seems like she is making Christian her bitch for absolutely no reason. And it hurts me to see Christian like that. And Christian realizes it too. So maybe Christian needs to just like take a breather and find herself, you know, maybe she doesn't need to have power to have worth. So I look forward to seeing Christian, a new Christian without power, without titles and just her brains. And she's got a big brain. So I look forward to seeing what she can do, what she can figure out. And yeah, I'm I'm talking really quickly because I do want to get into the next episode and then talk about everything. So yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Check out my other reactions if you have not already. And I will see you guys for episode three. All right, bye guys.